Hello guys, today we will be moving to the next part in our index numbers. Till our previous class, we completed unweighted index numbers. Two methods under unweighted index number that is simple aggregative method and simple average price relatives method. So, we will be now moving to weighted index number. Under weighted index number, we have three different types. One is Laspire's method, Parshay's method and Fisher's ideal index number. So first let us look into the theory part of last pairs method, Fisher's method and sorry, last pairs method, Parshay's method and Fisher's ideal index number and then move to the problems part. Yes, so factor reversal test and time reversal test, once we complete problems on last pairs, Fisher, Parshay's and Fisher's, we will be moving to factor reversal test and time reversal test. So what are the three types under weight, uh, weighted index numbers? Laspire's method, Parshay's method and Fisher's ideal index number method. Okay. Yes. Now, major question is what is the difference between weighted index number and unweighted index number? When you tell unweighted index number, all the commodities in the question given will be given equal importance. When you tell weighted index number, each commodity will be given different importance. It is not given equal importance, it will be given different importance. Now, how are we going to assign these weights? Weights are assigned based on quantities consumed. So first let us look into the meaning. Under this method, the quantities produced, sold, bought during the base year or current year are used as weights. So, what are we assigning weights here? Quantities are considered as weights. These weights indicate the level of importance of particular commodity. For example, if you have two different commodities, if we take into consideration, rice and wheat. So, rice if a person purchases 20 kgs for a year and wheat he purchases 10 kgs for a year. So, which is of greater importance? Rice purchased 20 kgs is of greater importance. Wheat purchased 10 kgs is of lesser importance. So how did you come to know rice is of greater importance? Because it is having greater quantity that is 20 kgs than wheat. Wheat is having only 10 kgs. That is the reason weights uh, are uh, weights are given to the commodities based on the quantities produced or quantities bought or quantities sold. Yes, no. Now. How will the problem appear in weighted index number? We shall look into that first. Yes, the problem under weighted index number shall appear in this model. What is given here? Commodity, different kinds of commodity. Base year, current year. Price of base year, quantity of base year. Price of current year and quantity of current year. Price of base year is taken as P0. Quantity of base year is taken as Q0. Price of current year is taken as P1. Quantity of current year is taken as Q1. Yes. Now, we shall look into three different methods which we will be study under weighted index number now. Yes. First method under weighted index number is Laspire's method. Under this Laspire's method, the basic thing what you have to remember is Base period quantities are taken as weights. Base period quantities are taken as weights. So base period quantities are symbolically represented as Q0. So Q0, values of Q0 are taken as weights under last Laspire's method. So what is formula? P01, price index number under last Laspire's method is summation P1 into Q1 divided by summation P0 into Q0 into 100. So you are multiplying price with the weights, weights of, quant with the weights, what are weights here? Quantities taken. So quantities of base period Q0, Q0, multiplying price of current period and multiplying price of base period with the quantities of base period is taken here under last pairs method. So what are considered as weights here? Quantities of base period are considered as weights. Yes, so this is Laspire method. So what is basically you have to remember in Laspire's method? The quantities of base period are considered as weights here. Yes. Now, 
Second method under weighted index number is Parshes method. Parshes method is quite opposite to Last Pairs method. Why? Because current period quantities are considered as weights here. What is symbolical representation for current period quantities? Q1. So Q1 is considered as weights here. Q1 in the sense current period quantities are considered as weights. So let us look into the formula. P01 that is price index number is equal to P1 into Q1. Earlier we were taking it as Q0 for last buyers divided by summation P, P0 into Q1. In place of Q0 you are taking Q1 into 100. So basic difference between Parshes method and last buyers method is under Parshes method you take quantities of current period as weights and under last pairs method you take quantities of base period as weights that is the only difference between last pairs and parshes now let us look into the last method that is fisher's ideal index number so basically fisher's ideal index number is combination of parshes method and last pairs method last pairs as well as parshes method together taken we come to Fisher's ideal index number. So, what does this uh, this method basically tell us? This method uses both current year as well as base year quantities as weights. It is not considering just base year or current year quantities as weights. It is considering taking into consideration both the years quantities as weights. So, let us look into the formula. Q01 is equal to root of root of summation p0 into p1 into q0 divided by summation p0 into q0 a uh, whole multiplied it with summation p1 into q1 divided by summation p0 into q0 out of the root after simplification of this root you will be multiplying it with 100 so combination of parshes as well as last pairs method we arrive at fisher's ideal index number so looking at the formula itself we can tell p1 into q0 divided by p0 into q0 this is last buyer's method and here p1 uh, p1 into q1 divided by p0 into q1 this is parshes method so here he is taking into consideration last buyer's method as well as parshes method root of it and multiplied it with 100 you will be getting what fisher's ideal index number price index number yes so this is these this is the theory part of three different methods under weighted index number what are those last buyers method parshes method and fisher's ideal index number fisher's ideal index number yes now only thing what you have to remember is the question will be in this format commodity base year data and current year data under base year data, prices are taken as P0, quantity Q0, current year data, prices as P1 and quantity as Q1. And apply the formula for the three different methods. We shall move to problems in our next video.